Have you ever... Have you ever wondered how dangerous batteries are? I see all these videos online all the time. People showing their videos, how their e-bikes caught fire and how dangerous it is. And then people telling me I'm riding on a time bomb. You know what? I have a spare battery and I want to take this good old school non-scientific approach and I want to see how far I can take it. So let's take a look. Let me explain you something first. What you're about to see is not very common because I'm gonna test this on a lithium polymer for short known as a lipo batteries. Most of the manufacturers vehicles, electric bikes, electric motorcycles and cell phones most commonly use lithium ion batteries. Within a community lipo batteries are very well known for being a little bit more dangerous. Lipo batteries are fine if you don't discharge them under the limits, if you don't overcharge them and if you don't mechanically stress them. So here is what is happening. We have a charger here and we'll be purposely overcharging this pack. It's pretty complicated how we wired it, but the fact is that we have a display that shows us what is happening in that battery. And we are overcharging it with 12 amps for a good 20-30 minutes. We expected the battery to blow up and then eventually explode. Surprise, surprise, that did not happen. So we thought, okay, now it's just a matter of touching the battery with the slightest little impact and it has to catch a fire. So I took a slingshot and I hit the battery a few times. Nothing happened, it didn't cause a fire. So the following logical step would be scratching the battery, stabbing it and seeing what happens if you crash the bike and if you actually penetrate the heat shrink the battery is wrapped in. And here it is, now you can take a look how quick reaction this is. I use lipo battery because I know how to treat them. Look how I install them in my bike and how well protected they are. I always create aluminum case, something with a hard shell so it protects all these batteries from mechanical impact. I see it on a daily basis. People just masking tape their lipo batteries and throw them inside of the frame and as they ride they bump inside and they are mechanically stressed. Look at this example of what happens to such a bike. It's not any kind of a hardcore crash. It can be something stupid like your bike falling off a kickstand on something sharp that penetrates your side cover. Not protected lipo battery is not smart at all. So why would you be even considering using lipo batteries in your build? Well, we've tested them for years. They still do great after five years, just like any other batteries. It's more about how, do you, how you treat them. If you have a good BMS and if you know what you're doing, you're fine. I personally have LiPo batteries because they're still good value for discharge rating. I set the highest voltage a little bit lower and the lowest voltage a little bit higher because you can take a look at the curve that at the very top you don't have too much capacity, at the very bottom you don't have too much capacity anyways. So why not shortening up the range, eliminating risk and be happy with this reasonable value battery. There is some informative content that I'm focused on the most on this channel. I created pretty complex video guide how to build exactly this 4.2 e-bike and it's combined with a parts list. That means every single part on this bike, including connectors and recommended tools, you can find in this with links and order straight from there. If you like this video and you want to reward me for my time, 
you can easily do so by not skipping ads on my channel. If you want to see my bike, uh, you should definitely check one of these two videos to see what I'm riding and what I'm offering. Thanks a lot for watching and for your support and don't forget to check more videos.